Hello everyone and welcome to this new video tutorial. In this video guys I'm going to show you how you can solve the problem of 100% CPU usage. So if you are facing this problem just recently or from quite a good time, these solutions might help you. However, please note that you might need to do a physical upgrade of your CPU. So first, you will go to your taskbar, you will click with the right button of the mouse and select task manager. Once done, you will need to go to your startup and click on some of the softwares which you don't need. This startup section is reflects or shows all the softwares which will automatically turn on when you just start your computer. If you click on them or not, they will just start once you, you start or restart your computer. So for me, I don't need these softwares, I will just disable them and this will reduce the usage of resources and give back some to the processor we go back to processes we still see if you still see that the cpu has high usage then i will invite you to go to your settings to open the settings update and security and i will invite you to either select pause update for seven days to see if it's still not solving then change the active hours the active hours is, is a certain range of time which you tell Windows to not bother you or do updates in that time or up, do or download updates in the background. So you can set up automatically and the Windows will anal analyze your activity or you can just go ahead and do it manually by changing. For me, I work for example from 8 a.m. until 6 p.m. on my computer and I don't uh, 6 p.m. and I don't want Windows to bother me. So I have selected 6 p.m. I click on validation and I click save. Once you restart your computer, you might see a better performance. If, however, you still see the same issues, go back to your CPU or to your task manager, click to, to bring up the applications which are mostly using your resources. For example, here I have Outlook, which I'm not using currently. I will just click and task. And now it's done. And as I can see, I have only one application using now. If you are still seeing 100% CPU usage, then I will invite you to do either a computer upgrade or there is another solution. You can upgrade your CPU. And the last solution is to go back to previous build. This problem happens usually if you have upgraded a computer of Windows 7 or Windows 8 to Windows 10 and there are, there are not the CPU is not strong enough and then you might just reconsider to switching back or just to switching to Linux. I hope this video tutorial has brought to you enough solutions to fix the problem. If you are still in need of help or assistance or even advice, please leave us a comment or just send us an email and we will do our best to help you. If you would like to encourage us, you can always press like, share, and especially do not forget to subscribe to get our latest videos. Thank you for watching and talk to you soon in a new video tutorial.